Hey guys, it's Andrea here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, aka my internet home. Alright, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out magnetic lashes for the first time. But before we get into that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that post notification button so you are notified every single time I post. Also, make sure you start this video off by giving me a big old thumbs up just so I know that you enjoy videos like this. Now, if you want to find out all the tea about magnetic lashes, keep on watching. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I went on Instagram and I asked you guys what were some beauty products you were too scared to try for yourself. And one of the responses I got was magnetic lashes. I went out and I purchased some magnetic lashes to try for you guys so that I can tell you how I feel about them, the pros and cons, all that good stuff, right? So I went on Amazon and I purchased these lashes right here. They're from the brand Ari Shine. It just says magnetic eyeliner and eyelash kit. Gorgeous and flawless, reusable, easy to apply, and waterproof. So I'm going to try these out for you guys today. Okay, these are cute actually. Oh, there's something else in here. Okay. So this is what the package looks like. Comes with five pairs of lashes, two tubes of magnetic eyeliners, and an eyelash applicator I'm definitely gonna be following the instructions because I don't know how to use these I'm just a little scared I'm not even gonna lie I'm gonna do a little test run on my hands first before I put it on my eyes just to make sure I know exactly what they're talking about and I'm just gonna use everything that the kit came with I'm just gonna draw a line on my hands All right you see that line right there I'm just gonna put the eyelash right on it and as you see the lash like got stuck right to it I'm gonna try it on my eyes now, guys. Okay. Now the time has come for me to try it on my eyelashes. I think I'm gonna use the, this third pair down here. What's the second pair right here? These two right here. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. I'm just so you guys are really zoomed into my face so you guys can see what I'm about to do. I'm not gonna do like a cat eye or any like fancy eyeliner designs. I'm just gonna do like a basic line over my eyes just to see how this works. I hope you guys can see. Um, the brush itself, like the tube itself is a little, it gets a little stuck. I don't know if it's supposed to be like, cause it's sticky, okay? And it says to apply the eyelashes before the liner dries completely, so. Okay, and it's on. It's on my eyes, guys. It's on my eyes. That's actually not as bad as I thought. All right, so I'm going to do the other eye now. I really don't like this applicator. Where is my... I like my applicator better, so I'm just going to switch applicators. Oh, is it on? Like, I could actually kind of feel that magnetic pull. I feel like this one could have been a little longer. It's my first time, so don't judge me. And there we have it, guys. I have the lashes on... Wow, I feel like my face actually looks complete now. So I have the lashes on on my eyes right now it wasn't as terrifying as I thought it would be because honestly I was really scared to try them because let me stop looking at myself in this mirror I was really scared to try these lashes just because I didn't want to get the magnets like the magnetic part stuck to my actual eyelashes and then these eyelashes get stuck to that and then when I take them off I rip my eyelashes off that's like a big fear that I have just like not having lashes but what I will say is that these went on super easy. So what I do want to test out that I really didn't think about until right now is, is the eyeliner sticky? Because you could really, I don't know, like they're little magnets on the lashes itself, but how do I know that this isn't just lash glue and I just glued these onto myself? So I'm just gonna put some back on my hands and I'm gonna touch it <laughs> and just see if it's sticky. Oh, it's not. <laughs> 
it's not sticky at all. So this is actually like a magnetic eyeliner and not just eyelash glue. So that's pretty cool. So another question I had was how do I take these lashes off? And I was reading it and it's basically put enough liquid makeup remover on cotton pads, close your eyes and cover the cotton pads onto your eyelash, slightly pressing or tapping to make the liquid makeup remover spread equally on the eyelash, Wait one minute, then take off the eyelash. Clean up your eyelid and false lash, and then reuse the next time. Um, I just want to know, can I just pull them off like I do my regular lashes? Like, well, not my regular lashes. My regular falsies, like, can I just pull them off? Or do I actually have to use a liquid remover? So I'm just going to do it on my hands, actually. And I'm just going to... Oh, it's... Okay. There was a little resistance. I guess you'll never have, like, too much glue on your lash because this is what it looks like so the extra little lumps and grooves are just like the magnets on the lash but the band itself isn't that thick and you'll never have like that extra glue build up on it so I'm just gonna see if it goes right back on to right here where it has its um, magnetic strip if it'll just go right back onto that so I want to just I'm gonna do it looking in the camera oh yeah it does so how am I going to clean this up? I'm going to use, I know I have a liquid. I thought I had some micellar water in my drawer, but apparently I don't. So what I would normally do while I take off my lashes and all my makeup for the night is use my Pond's cold cream makeup remover. So it's just this one right here and I got it from the beauty supply store. It's like $5. I still have the little price tag on it. Don't mind. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some on the back of my hand and see if I can get it to come off the way I would do my regular makeup. So I just put it on the back of my hand and then you rub it and it's supposed to lift the makeup but I don't really think it's doing that. It's not lifting it. Ooh. Okay, I'm also gonna go in with a Neutrogena makeup remover wipe. These feel a little dry though. I'm just gonna see if I can get it to come off barely Ooh. it is coming off but it is taking longer than like my regular eyeliner would but it is coming off so you don't really need to use a liquid a liquid makeup remover it might be faster but if you don't have a liquid makeup remover a regular makeup remover wipe will do just fine just be easy on your eyes I would suggest maybe putting olive oil or maybe coconut oil just so that you don't irritate your eyes. So now that I got the more interesting stuff out of the way, like how do you put them on, is it sticky, how do you take them off, things like that, I actually do want to talk about these lashes and specifically the lashes that I got. So like I said, I bought these on Amazon. So um, what I did was Google like the best magnetic lashes and obviously I think it was like glam... Glamnetics, I think. I forgot. They were like the first ones to pop up, but they were like $78. Like, they were basically $70 to $100 for like three pairs of lashes and some glue. I wasn't going to do that. So I bought these on Amazon um, for... So I paid $24.98 for basically five lashes, two eyeliners, and the eyelash applicator, which honestly, I don't think is that bad in comparison to the other lashes that I saw. So if you guys are interested in getting the lashes that I picked up, I do have them in my um, Amazon storefront, so make sure you click that link and check out everything else I have in my storefront because I'm pretty sure you would love it there. <laughs> so all in all, so far, I think these lashes are pretty great. The fact that I did get five pairs of lashes and they're all different styles, I like the fact that I get variety in this pack. I also like the fact that um, the eyeliner is magnetic so it kind of works as a glue instead of um, having to use a eyeliner, a glue, and a lash. I only have to use the liner and the lash. I don't know. It just takes like one extra step out of the way which I really appreciate. I also like the fact that reusing these lashes will be a whole lot easier and cleanup is a lot easier because it's magnets, it's not glue. So there will be no glue stuck to my lash band and I won't have to like wash the lashes or you know, peel the glue off of the lashes, potentially ruining the lashes because I have ruined a couple lashes that way. 
I have ruined a couple lashes just like peeling off the excess glue just to rewear the lashes. This time I could just peel them off of my eyes, set them back onto this tray, which you probably should do, especially since it does have like the little magnetic strips. So it'll always keep its shape, which I also really like. And I probably will not lose these lashes just because they're magnetic and they will be magnetically stuck to this magnet strip. I will not find this lash on my bed, on my pillowcase, on my sock. It will be right where I left it. Ah! I also love the fact that these lashes are very, very beginner friendly. If you're not very comfortable applying lashes or you've never applied lashes before, using these magnetic lashes makes it a whole lot easier and faster because all you really have to do is line your eyes and the eyelash attracts to the eyeliner automatically like it will be there okay you just have to make sure you line your eyes right but if you are still a little scared to try magnetic lashes especially for the first time I do have a beginner eyelash tutorial so I will just go ahead and leave that up in the cards above and down in the description box below so make sure you check that out as well that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave me a big old thumbs up also, down in the comments below, let me know what beauty products you were too scared to try because, you know, I'm feeling a little brave lately. So I'll try them for you and I'll let you know all about them before you even go out and spend your money on it. If you didn't get to at the beginning of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you are notified every single time I post. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye. All right, they're asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, magic. Yeah.